Under a beaming South Carolina sun in July, Gage is on a construction site working hard, lifting, heaving, and digging. For years, he has finished the day tired, exhausted, sometimes in pain. He enjoys the hands-on work and the camaraderie with his colleagues, but on the way home he can't help but think this wasn't the way it was supposed to be. He had worked and studied hard for a different future. Back in high school, Gage was a go-getter. He graduated early just to start the next steps in his career. The Rock Hill area, while home, was not full of job opportunities. Construction, fast food, these were the options for recent graduates. Most of his friends followed the money in more urban centers across the state or bounced around from job to job in town. Some took out massive student loans to attend university, and many of them ultimately returned home in debt, working alongside Gage at the job site. After touring a local technical college and learning about coding, Gage pursued an associate's degree in machine tool operating. Gage was successful. He worked and studied hard. He forged close ties to his professors, who told him stories of their experiences working with big machines, gas turbines. Gage was fascinated. He dreamed of following in their footsteps and applying everything he had learned in the workplace. But when he completed his degree, he didn't have the work experience that companies were looking for. And as a result, employers only offered minimum wage and virtually no employee benefits. With little chance of upward mobility and second-rate wages, Gage started working construction to bring in more money. He had to leave his dreams of coding and machine work behind just to make a living. But a new opportunity was on the horizon, something that would turn everything around. At Thanksgiving that year, Gage's uncle mentioned an open house event the following week. Three major German companies in the area were advertising their apprenticeships, multi-year programs consisting of on-the-job training and classroom instruction, with the insurance of competitive wages, major benefits, and a promising career. Naturally, Gage jumped at the opportunity. At the first open house meeting, the room was filled to the brim with 200 hopefuls. But he was determined. He firmly shook hands, looked his future boss in the eye, clearly stated his goals with confidence, and conveyed a strong work ethic. After months of practical tests, interviews, and evaluations, Gage was one of six people ultimately selected for an apprenticeship, 3% of the original 200. He was sitting around the family barbecue when he received the news. He jumped out of his chair, even spilled his drink. His family thought he'd gone crazy. But Gage knew then that a page had turned, that better days were ahead. The apprenticeship was four years long. Gage spent two days a week at a community college earning a degree, and three days a week on site applying the knowledge he had learned in the classroom, precisely what he had dreamed of doing years ago after high school. The massive machinery that his professors had mentioned stood before him in arena-sized hangars. He moved from one machine to the next with ease, learning the ins and outs of each. Every step of the way, Gage had mentors looking over his shoulder, providing the tools and knowledge he needed to be successful at his job. Gage's closest mentor, Kevin, a second-generation machinist, was keen on taking Gage under his wing. They became close colleagues, and eventually friends over the years, and Gage continues to use the knowledge he gained from Kevin every day. The roles and responsibilities offered during the apprenticeship were cutting edge, nothing like the manual labor in the summer heat years ago. Manufacturing has advanced exponentially over the years, and the million dollar machinery that Gage became qualified to operate functioned like large computers. He learned to write code, and operated these colossal machines from a laptop nearby. These are the jobs of the future. By the time he completed the four-year-long apprenticeship program, Gage walked away with not one, not two, but three associate degrees and various certifications that are universally recognized. He also walked away with a full-time job, 
a significant paycheck, and no student debt. Although Gage is more than loyal to the company that invested and believed in him, he knows that no matter what happens, he has the qualifications and experience he needs to be successful in his career. But looking back, what if that Thanksgiving dinner had never taken place? For Gage, it's hard to imagine. It took a random conversation, a coincidental chat, to set him on this path. Looking back at high school, he wishes that guidance counselors and teachers had introduced him to apprenticeships. It just wasn't on anyone's radar. It felt like university or bust. He realized much later that his apprenticeship program was a German model exported to the United States, and that in Germany, he could have started the program at a much younger age. Today, he is a strong advocate for expanding apprenticeships in the United States and spreading the word to middle and high school students about the doors that they can open. As an apprentice, Gage became qualified in the jobs of the future, received a competitive paycheck, earned college degrees, and built a solid foundation for career advancement at a company that believed in him. In his words, it was the turning point that changed his life for the better.